Hi, my name is Stephen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add an appointment booking system to your WordPress website. So over here, you can see that I have this book button right here. So you can pretty much add this button anywhere you want it on your website. So let's go to this website right here. You can see that I have the button all over the place. You can see that I have it right here on the header. So you can click on it and then it's going to open a pop up like this. So let me show you what this plugin can actually do. So if I click on this book and appointment button here, you can see the type of services that we are actually have here so this is basically like a service category you can see all the services you can offer pretty much any type of services that you want for example this one right here is a psychology services so if i click on this psychology services for example and then you are going to see all the services that we have under that category and then here you can see that we have the counseling for couples or panic attacks so i'm going to select this counseling for couples and you can see here that the price starts from 30 dollars and if you click on the service you can see that we have different sections here so if you choose a 30 minute section you are going to pay 30 dollars if you choose a 60 minute section you are going to pay 60 dollars and if you choose a 90 minute section you are going to pay 100 dollars so let me choose this 60 minute section here and then here you can see extra services so if any of these services applies to you you can go ahead and select the service so if I select this one, you can see that it's going to add additional $20 to total price here, which is $60. But if you don't want any additional services, you don't have to select this and then you can go ahead and click on next. And then from here, you are going to select the agent that you want for the service that you just selected. So if you know any of these agents and you want that specific person to attend to you, you are going to select that person from here. But if you don't know any of the agents, you can select any agent. So this is going to select any agent that is available. So I'm going to select any agent. And then from here, you are going to pick the time and date and choose a time here and then click on next. And here you are going to fill in your information. You can see here that I already filled my information here. And then from here, you are going to click on submit and now this is going to uh, submit your appointment and then you are going to see the confirmation code here and then here you will be able to click on this uh, QR code here scan this code to add this on your calendar if you have a calendar on your phone and then if you want to create an account to log in later to change your account information or cancel your appointment you and click on this great account right here or if you have any question you can contact uh, the service provider with this Number right here so let me show you one of my clients website that is using the same plugin that have a payment option online so you can see what the payment option look like once you get to the payment page so here is the client's website so i'm going to max out this website so you guys are only going to be seeing uh, the booking section that we're working on so i don't want to show the website so from here you can see that they're using this uh, plugin for a different reason they're using this for like ombre browse uh booking or something like that so if you scroll down here you can see different services that they are offering like browse lamination and all that and you can see the button right here so if you click on the button then you can see all the services that they are offering over here and then if you click on browse here you can see all different type of browse uh, services that they are offering and let's see this ombre browse here and then we are going to select the staff in this case they only have one staff so you can go ahead and select that staff and then from here you choose a date then here you can choose a time and click on next and then from here you are going to fill in the information as well so if you already have an account you see you can log in here so i'm going to uh, register for a new account here so i've gone ahead and fill in my information here and then if you have any comment that you want to add you can add that here and here you can see that they also have some information that they want you to read before you book an appointment so you have to agree to this information and this cancellation policy here so whatever they have in here is going to apply to you once you check this box so make sure you read that before you check the bus that's basically what they're telling you and once you check the bus then you're going to click on next and now you can see that we have a payment option and this is because they don't have a local payment they only have online payment so you have to pay online so it's either you pay by paypal or you pay by credit card so if i choose paypal here it's going to show me two options here so you can pay the full amount that we have right here or you can pay the deposit that is required to book this appointment so for these clients you need to deposit a specific amount to book a specific service so in this case uh, what this means is that if you don't show up for your appointment that means your deposit is non-refundable so you're not going to get that deposit back and you accepted that condition by checking this boss 
that they have over here so once you accept that and then from here you are going to choose how you want to pay so if you want to pay with paypal and choose that and then if you want to pay with credit card you can also choose that as well so let's say i just want to make the deposit uh, payment so i'm going to choose this one and now it's going to ask you to enter your card details in here to make the payment and then if you choose to go with paypal now it's going to ask you to make your payment with paypal so you can either make with a card payment like this or you can choose the other uh, payment option so from here you are going to log into your paper account like this and then you are going to make the payment cancel this so now you can see what this plugin can do and how powerful this plugin is i just love this plugin because it's so easy to use and you can manage this from your wordpress dashboard so the first thing you need to do is to log into your wordpress dashboard and then the next thing you need to do is to go and download this plugin unfortunately this plugin is not free it costs money but trust me it's worth it because everybody's looking for free plugin and trust me free plugins are not that good but if you want something good for your business something that you can use to generate income and something that is secure you want to make sure that you paid for a premium plugin so we're going to go to this website and then we're going to purchase the plugin so go to your browser and type wp lifestyle forward slash plugin then click enter so this is the uh, website you need to go to wp lifestyle forward slash plugin and then click enter and that is going to bring you to this website right here and then from here you are going to search for a plugin so search for late points here and you are going to see this plugin this is the plugin that we need you can see late point appointment booking and reservation plugin so if i scroll down here on this plugin page you can see that this plugin currently have almost 3000 sales and also has five star reviews it's really really hard to find plugins that have five star reviews so you can see that this plugin is really really good so go ahead and purchase this plugin all you need to do is to click on add to cart and then you are going to click on go to checkout and then from here you are going to uh, put in your name and then you are going to create an account but if you already have an account you are going to click on sign in so i already have an account i'm going to go ahead and sign in here so once you purchase the plugin come over here and hover your mouse over your uh, profile here and then you are going to see downloads so go ahead and click on downloads and then from here you are going to see all your downloads you can see here that this is the plugin that we just purchased right now so click on download over here and then from here you are going to choose the type of file that you are going to download so for now i'm going to download the installable wordpress files only so let me click on that over here so now you can see that it just downloaded here and then go ahead and download the uh, license and certificate as well open it and then copy your purchase code we are going to use that to activate the plugin so now that i have that downloaded i'm going to go back into my wordpress website so i'm back to my wordpress website right now i'm going to scroll down here and click on plugins and i'm going to click on add new over here and then i'm going to click on upload plugin and then here i'm going to drag the plugin that we just downloaded and then i'm going to drop it right here then i'm going to click on install now and then i'm going to click on activate plugin and once the plugin is activated now you're going to see an option here that is called let point and if you scroll down you're also going to see another option here that is called let point so you're going to click on any of them and it is going to open uh, the dashboard for you in some cases it might pop up a setup wizard so that setup wizard you can go ahead and close it so just click on the x on the top right just close it and then it's going to bring you to this dashboard right here and then from here the first thing you need to do is to go and activate your plugin so if we we'll go over here to settings we are going to go to updates and then from here it's going to ask for your name so go ahead and put in your name and the email address that you use to set up your account where we bought the plugin then you are going to copy your purchase code and then you are going to paste it here and click activate license so once you do that we are going to uh, come back here because if you don't activate the license it's not going to allow you to activate uh, all the add-ons that comes with the plugin so so this is going to be all the different add-ons that you have this is good because you're only going to activate the ones that you need and then once you have all of this that you want installed then your add-on page is going to look like this you can see right now that i'm in this page and i already activated the custom field the customer message and i have the location activated i have all this activated right and now that you've done that so let's go ahead and start from dashboard i'm going to walk you through all the settings from dashboard this custom field right here so we click on dashboard 
So this is where you are going to see everything that is happening on your booking plugin. This is going to show you all your staffs and this is going to show the availabilities and this is going to show you all the appointments. This is going to show you the upcoming appointments and then the calendar is going to show all your staffs. You can see we have four staffs here and under each staff is going to show you whether they are booked or not. So let's go back here and click on appointments. And then here you can see all the appointments right here. And this is how the appointments are going to show. And you are going to see the agents here. You can search for a specific agent. So maybe if you want to see all the appointments for Kim, you can select Kim. It can show you only the appointment for Kim. Or maybe you want to sort it by category. The ones that are approved, you can click approved. It's going to show only the approved one. Or maybe you want to show only the pending ones. You can click on the pending ones. And if you want to make changes and change the status of an appointment, you can click over here to pending appointments. And then from here, you can change the status to approve, payment, or cancel. So you can make the changes from here, or you can approve the appointment from here, or you can reject the appointment. So let's go back to the next, which is going to be services. And then from here, you can see the list of services that we have. So any service that you add that you did not add in any category is going to go to this uncategorized services. And from here, we're going to see the service categories and we're going to see the extra services that we have here. So here we have a dentist category, we have a cosmetic category and we have a haircut. Maybe we can add a new category here called uh, WordPress. So I'm going to call this one WordPress. So this one is WordPress and then you can add the short description here if you want. Or you can add an image here if you want but i'm going to skip all of this i'm going to click on save category now we have that category here called wordpress now if you want to add a service on that is category we're going to go back here to a list of services and we can scroll down here now you can see that we have a wordpress category here and then we can add a service here then from here you give your service a name so i'm going to name this one wp tutorials and then you can give it a description here if you want I'm going to say over here I'm going to say this is fun here if you want to change the category again you can change that from here but I'm going to leave this and then you can give it a color if you want from here maybe you can choose your brand color then you are going to show this to everyone this is visible to everyone and if you want to select an image for this service this is where you are going to select that image so let's say I want to maybe use this let's just use this uh, icon here as the for the service for now and if you scroll down here you are going to choose the duration of the service and this is going to be in minutes so 16 minutes this is one hour if this service is for two hours you are going to have 120 minutes like this and then you are going to choose the amount maybe the amount is i don't know maybe the amount is hundred dollars and you are going to choose that and maybe you want to collect a deposit before they can book the appointment so you have a $50 deposit here and then if you want to add extra duration so this is going to be like extra charge for like extra minutes maybe if somebody want like extra 20 minutes tutorial for this service you're going to have an extra 20 minutes here and that 20 minutes is going to be maybe uh dollars and then there will be no deposit for this or if you want you can collect a deposit for that as well maybe you collect ten dollars deposit and then from here this is where you are going to choose your agent this is where you are going to choose the staff that is going to be offering the services if you want all the staff to offer the services you are going to select that here if one of these guys offer the services you are going to select let's say maybe kim is offering the services we are going to select kim here and then if you scroll down here we are going to select extra services here so if this services applies to this service you are going to select each of them but if they don't you can go ahead and unselect all of them like this so this is not going to show up under these services and then if you want to automatically create a zoom meeting for this service you are going to enable this and once you are done you are going to click on add service so if we scroll down now you can see that we have wp tutorial under wordpress so before i continue with the rest of the tutorial i want to go over here to settings so we can do the general settings first over here on general settings right here we're going to automatically set the uh, appointment default to pending so in this case that means when someone book an appointment is going to be pending and then you're going to go and approve the appointment manually but if you want the appointment to go to approve status right away you can select this approved status then you're going to select your time system if you want 24 hours or 12 hours so i'm going to choose 12 hours 
and then here you are going to select your time intervals in minutes and here you can see the default is 30 minutes you can change this to 60 minutes if you want and here if you want to show the appointment end time you are going to show that here as well i'm going to select that and here you can put restriction so this is going to be the earliest possible appointment booking so if you want people to book appointment one week ahead of time you are going to select this here or if you leave this blank that means they can book appointment anytime that they want and then this is going to be the latest possible appointment booking and then if you have multiple locations this is where you are going to select this option here that way your agent can only be present in one location at a time that way they don't have double booking and here you are going to choose your currency symbol here you can see that i have dollar so if you want the currency symbol to be before the dollar amount you can put it here if you want it to be after the dollar amount you can put it over here and here you can put your phone formatting so this is going to be the format for the phone or you can disable the phone formatting here that way they can enter the phone number anywhere they want but i'm going to leave this phone formatting on and then here you can choose your country code so my country code is plus one so if you're in another country make sure you choose your country code in here and here we can choose the appearance of the site right now you can see that it's blue but if I go back here and change this to maybe green, I'm going to scroll down and click on save changes. Then I'm going to go back here and refresh this page. Then if I click on book appointment, now you can see that the appearance is now green. You can see that everything here has changed to green. You can see right now what it looks like. So let's go back here and continue uh, what we are doing. And then the border star, you can choose the flat here or the rounded corners. And then if you want to enable any of this social media login you can click on the one that you want to enable and then get your client id and your secret id and put it in here and then this is going to be your setup pages so this is going to be your customer dashboard uh, url then this is going to be your uh, customer login uh, url page and then over here if you want to use your wordpress users as your customers you are going to select this box and if you want to allow customers to cancel their bookings you are going to select this one so this is the short code that you put over here you can put it anywhere that you want on your website so let me go back here and click on save change and now we're going to head over to the schedule right here and then from here you are going to choose your general weekly schedule this is going to apply to all the services and all the agents on your website so this is the general weekly schedule and you can turn a specific day off if you are not working on that day so let's say you are closed on sunday you can turn sunday off so you get the idea you can click on this pencil here to edit the time for monday or tuesday or you can turn that specific day off and another option here is let's say on friday for example let's go to friday here so let's say on friday you start at 8 in the morning and then you finish at 12 in the afternoon so let's say we change this to 12 in the afternoon for example and then you come back here and click on add another uh, period for friday so let's say you come back you start again at 4 pm and then you close at 6 pm so you can add multiple time in one day so what this means you can add as many multiple time in one day so let's say you close for two hours in the middle of the day and then you can add this time open again at four so you can pretty much do that with any of these days and once you finish you can click on save as schedule right here and this is going to apply to all the services and the agent on your website now if you want to add a custom schedule you are going to come here and click on custom schedule you can add a custom schedule for so let's say the week of august in august you have a different schedule because you have something that you are doing so anything that you add here is going to override the default schedule and then this is going to be for your holidays and days off from here you are going to be able to set a specific days that you are not working so these days that you are going to add here is going to be your days off or holidays so that means these days are not going to be available on the website when someone trying to an appointment and then once you are done here make sure you click on save uh, changes and we are going to go back up here and click on the steps so these steps right here are the steps that you go through here so if we click here you can see that we have different steps the first one is to select a service and the second one is to select extra and the next one is to go to select staff here so you get the idea let me go back here and show you what these steps mean you can see here if you have only one location this step will be skipped so if you have multiple locations your clients will be able to select the location that they are booking appointment for 
and the second one here is going to be select a service and then if you want to change any of these names right here you can change that so click on this pencil icon right here you can say something like select a service and then you can change the subtitle here as well you can put a here as well then click on save changes so once you click on save changes you can click on this s button right here to close it so this is pretty much the same with any of these steps right here and then from here you are going to choose what you want to show on the form so anything here if you want to show it on the form so go ahead and select that if you want to skip a step you can go ahead and select this skip verification step and once you finish anything you want to do here and this is where you are going to add the phone number you can put anything that you want here you can change this to completely uh, something different maybe you want to add an email instead of a phone number they can email you here and this is going to show up in here like this you can see we have this here once you finish you click on save change and then the next one is going to be payment you are going to see all these different type of payments that you have here but i'm going to show you how to enable these payments later in this video so we are going to skip that for now and then for the updates we already covered this this is where you are going to add your license key and this is where you are going to see your updates and then you are going to update your plugin and for the zoom integration here you can enable zoom integration Get your zoom api key and get your secret key and put it in here that way your customer will be able to add the appointment to zoom call so they can actually book you on zoom call but in this tutorial i'm not going to be covering that if you want me to make a separate tutorial about this let me know in the comment section below and then i will make the tutorial so click on save changes here and then notification is where you are going to enable all kind of notifications so if you want your clients to receive notifications once they book an appointment they're going to click on enable email notification and then reminder this is where you are going to set up a reminder for uh, your client so you can click on reminder here and then you can choose email address and then you can choose who they are going to set the reminder to going to be your customer then when are they going to send this reminder you're going to seven right here seven days maybe you can change this to hours maybe seven hours before the appointment and you're going to put subject for your reminder so in here this is where you're going to add all the details that you want your client to see in that reminder but let me give you an example here so maybe you can say something like hello so if i say hello here and who am i saying the hello to so this is going to be your customer and now you are going to copy your customer id so this is going to apply to every single customer that will book appointment on your website which is why you are going to use the short code that they provided for you here so if you look over here under customer you are going to see the customer name so if you want to say hello the full name of the customer they're going to copy the full name or if you want to say hello just the first name of the customer they're going to copy this one then you are going to paste it here i know sometimes you receive an email like this where they will say hello and then say your name or say hi then say your name this is exactly how you do it and then you can go down to the next line and then you can say something like this is a friendly reminder for your upcoming appointment and now you want to mention the appointment that you are reminding them about maybe you want to add the appointment id and then you can come here over the appointments and then you can select the appointment id and then you are going to paste it in here so this is going to mention the appointment id that they received when they booked the appointment and then you can click enter and maybe add the appointment date the appointment time the uh, service duration the status of the appointment so you can add pretty much any of these that you want in here uh you get the idea i'm not going to go through all of this and explaining all of that to you so you can add any of these that you see here in there obviously you don't want to copy these ids and then paste it in here just like that you want to make sure that you have like a sentence before or after the id so that it will make sense and look more professional just like these examples that i gave you here and then once you finish you are going to click on save changes so once you save that now you can see that we have the appointment reminder here you can come in anytime that you want and edit this if you want to add more information or remove any information from this and then the next one here is the sms template so we're not using sms so we're going to skip that and we're going to go to email template so email template is going to be the same with the reminder that we just set up here so if you look over here you can see that it's going to ask you if you want agents to receive email so if you want them to receive an email you are going to 
enable this they are going to receive appointment confirmation email that is going to be sent to the agent and then if you want the customers to receive these emails you are going to enable appointment confirmation email to your customer and then here you are going to play around with the uh, appointment confirmation details here you can see the same example that i gave you so you get the idea i explained this to you in the reminder setting uh, unfortunately there is no way to copy the ids from here so if you want to copy the ids you will have to uh, click on save changes and then you will have to go here over to the reminder then you are going to see all these uh, settings here that you need and you can copy any of them if you want you can just copy all of them and then you can use the ones that you want and delete the ones that you don't want and then once you finish that you are going to click on and then the next one here is custom field for customers this is where you come and make all the settings for their name last name email phone number comment so if you want to collect additional information for your customer you are going to click on this button here and then you are going to see all the options that is available here and then you are going to select the one that you want to collect from your customer and then if you want to turn something off maybe you don't want them to add their phone number you can turn this off and then from here if you want to add any additional information for the client to fill up you are going to add that right here so i'm going to go back here and then we're going to add a custom field here so let's click on this then we're going to give this a name so I've gone ahead and give this a name so I, I, I gave it sample as the name and then over here on placeholder I say you must check this box and then here the type of field we are going to select a uh, check boss and then this is going to be full width if you want or maybe half so i'm going to leave it on full and then it's going to be visible to everyone and then i'm going to make it required over here and then i'm going to click on save changes and then if i go back here and refresh this page and then i'm going to skip this section and go to the section where you need to see what we just added so here you go you can see that the sample that i just added is right here if you want to book an appointment without checking this box it's not going to allow you so look at this I'm going to say sample field has not been checked so you check this box and then you can go ahead and book your appointment like this and here you can see that the option that we saw here was just sample right so if you want to make that uh, long you can just come here and change the information right and change this uh, field label here you can change it to whatever you want you can make it long longer and then click on save changes and then the next tab here is the customer tab so this is where you can come in and then you can see the customers right here then you can delete a customer or you can add a customer from here and then the agents are the staff that is working on this location so you can add a new staff so maybe you can just add a new staff here maybe you can just add yourself here as a new staff from here you can add your picture here you can add your first name last name you can add a display name if you have a preferred name that you want to display you can add that here add your email address add your phone number and you can scroll down here you can add all the additional information you can add extra information here and then once you finish all the details if you scroll down here you can see the services that this person that you just added offer right so if they offer all these services here you can have all the services selected but if they don't you can click on select all here to unselect all the services and then you can select only the services that apply to this agent that you just added and then once you finish you scroll down and the button and then you click on add agent and once you have everything set up and then you want to go back to your wordpress dashboard you can go ahead and click on wordpress over here and this will take you back to your wordpress dashboard and then if you want to go back into your booking system you can click on let point and that will take you back into your booking system so from here click on settings then we are going to scroll down here and then we are going to copy the short code for the booking button we are going to copy this code now let's go back to wordpress and then you can paste this code pretty much anywhere that you want so i'm going to go to my website here i'm going to click on visit site so right now you can see that we have the code here if i click edit with elementor so this site is currently using elementor so if you're using something like dv or any other page builder it's going to be exactly the same thing all you need to do is to find the code module or you can use the text editor so for example i can look for code here then i can get the short code and then i'll put it in here then i'll paste the short code that i just copied in here now you can see that we have that code in here now you can see that we have to if your page builder does not have any code module you can use the text editor like this drag a text editor in here so make sure you clean the text in there and we are going to paste the code in here so once you paste the short code in here but look at what happened if we click away from this text editor if we click somewhere else it's going to display the short code look at this and then i'm going to save changes 
now i'm going to go and view this website so now you can see now that we have the button pretty much anywhere that we want it you can see that we also have it right here on the menu if you click here you can see that it's going to pop up let me show you how you can add this on the menu so this is going to be a little different for everyone depending on the wordpress theme that you are using Right now, I'm currently using the uh, Cadence WP WordPress theme. So I'm going to click on Customize over here. And then once you open the customizer, you're going to see the active theme here is Cadence. Then I'm going to go to Header. So right here, you can see that I have HTML here. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to grab HTML code. I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to just put it in here. And I'm going to click on this setting icon here. That is exactly what, how we add the button there. But let's say we want to add that button in here as well well in the mobile phone so what we can do is the off canvas here we can grab a button and then we can put it inside the off canvas over there so i'll grab the html code and then i'll put it inside the off canvas so let me go here and click on this setting then i'm going to clean this test in here and then i'm going to paste in my code now if you look over here you can see that we now have the button here so this is basically how easy it is if you have a theme that allow you to customize your header you can pretty much add this anywhere that you want it to be on your website and then if you are using the default wordpress editor i'm going to show you how you can do that as well so let's go back here and they did uh, this about us page here i'm just going to add it to this about us page just to show you how this works so you can see here that this is using the default uh, block editor so we're going to find somewhere that we're going to add this uh, uh, button so maybe we want to use it to replace this button that we have over here so if you click on this button here uh, we can go ahead and delete this button or we can just add a new module right here i can just add a new module here and then i'm going to search for the code and this is going to show three different type of codes i'm going to select the short code uh, module here then i'm going to paste the short code in here like this and then i'm going to click on update now if i click on preview so if i scroll down over here you can see that button right here obviously it's not aligned to the middle we can always go back here and just align the button to the middle right here but i'm just showing you an example how you can put this button pretty much anywhere that you want it and if you click on it it's going to pop up like this so now that we have the button embedded in our website let me go ahead and show you how you can activate the payment option so let me go back into my wordpress dashboard and then i'm going to click on let point and then i'm going to click on settings and then i'm going to click on payments and then here if you use the brain tree payment you are going to activate that but i don't use that so i'm going to show you how to activate paper and stripe so i'm going to start with stripe so i'm going to click on this button here to activate that you can see here that i already have api key and a secret key here i'm going to show you how to get that so from here you are going to choose your country and then choose your currency here so uh, for me i'm in canada so i'm going to select canada and then i'm going to select uh canadian dollar and then if you want to show the zip code if you want to ask your customer for zip code you can leave this unchecked but if you don't want to ask them for their zip code or postal code you can click on this button right here then here you can choose the environment that you are working on make sure you are working on live production if you want this to go live or if you are working on demo site or sandbox development you are going to choose any of this option and then here if you want people to pay locally so you are going to choose this locally option here we are going to head over to stripe and grab the api keys we are going to get the secret key and we are going to get the publishable key so if you already have a stripe account go ahead and log into your stripe account but if you don't have one already go to stripe.com then you are going to click on sign up and then you are going to set up an account it's completely free to sign up and once you set up an account and log in it's going to bring you to your dashboard right here you can see i'm right here in my dashboard and here you can see that we have the test data and once you want to go live you are going to turn off this test data over here you are going to turn this off like this now it's going to show your live api key so the other way to find this api key is to go to developers and you're going to click on api and over here is going to show you the type of api that you're working on you can see right now it's showing you that we are viewing the live api key so you can copy this key right here and then you can click on review secret live key to copy that key but in this case, I'm going to be using my test data to demonstrate this. So I'm going to 
make sure i turn on this test data here then i'm going to copy this key and then i'm going to go back here and then from here i'm going to paste the publishable key here and then here i'm going to go back here to stripe and then i'm going to click on review the test key and then i'm going to copy that key and then i'm going to come back here and paste that in here so once you finish that you are going to click on save changes then we're going to go to paypal so the same thing goes with paypal you are going to go to paypal.com and then you are going to click on sign up or login so i already have an account so i'm going to click on login and um, paypal is also completely free so you can go ahead and sign up once you log into your paypal account you are going to land on your dashboard right here it's going to look exactly like this and then you are going to click on developers over here once you open the developers here you are going to click on your name here just put your mouse over your name on the top right here and click on dashboard and this is going to take you to the developers dashboard and from here you can click my app and credentials and it's going to open up app and credentials over here and here you can see that we have the sandbox apis so this is where you are going to create your api or you can just uh, click on this default api and it's going to open the default api that we have over here and then you can copy the client id and you can click on show the secret id and then you are going to copy that as well but if you want to go live you want clients to actually pay money and it to your paper account you want to make sure you toggle this over to the live version so this is going to open the live api keys and see my current api keys here and then you can go ahead and click on create an api key because you're not going to have any api key here so you're going to click on create one and it's going to uh, open up one like this for you you're going to give the key a name then you're going to click on create an api key it's going to create a key that will look similar to what we have right here all you need to do is to copy the client id also copy the secret id from here and go back here to your dashboard and paste the client id here and then paste the secret key here and choose your country and then choose your country currency code and then you're going to scroll down here and save changes and then once you do that like this that means you now be able to accept payment on your site now it's going to look exactly like the example i showed you in the beginning if you didn't watch it if you skipped it go back to the beginning of the video and then you're going to see what the payment options are going to look like okay guys that's it for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when next i upload a video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time